We have a new coating to test out today, and it is Bombshell Coatings from Sean in North Carolina. This is his four-year pro-level coating. This is a SiO2 level coating. It's going to have insane beading. You can see this is a four-year, but he's actually been testing this product for about six or seven years out of his own detailing shop. And he's been getting up to five years if this coating is properly maintained. He actually has a two-year coating that can last up to three years if properly maintained. But we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at the four-year because this is actually going to potentially become his pro-level coating. It's priced at around $80 a bottle. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at its application. We're going to talk it through as we apply it and share with you guys what it looks like to apply and what it looks like once we're all done. So let's get into it. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Chelsea. I own a detailing shop here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Attention to Details. And we specialize in interior, exterior details, paint correction, and ceramic coatings. One of the things that I love to do is test out kind of under-the-radar products that most people never have heard of. And one of these products is, like we said, our bombshell four-year coating. Now, it goes without saying we've done our proper prep for this vehicle. We've done a wash, a chemical decontamination, a clay bar treatment. We've also done a paint enhancement using 3D1. They're light purple polishing pads. This paint didn't have a lot of swirls going on. It's a newer vehicle. It's soft paint. It corrected very easily, but we did have some random deeper scratches that we were able to polish out. We've got, I would say, about 98% correction. We did a panel prep wipe using Gion Prep, one of my new favorite uh, panel prep wipes. Smells fantastic, works very effectively, and now our vehicle is virgin fresh clean panel ready to apply. We've got the puck. Amplicator, this is kind of a collaboration between the rag company and Auto Fiber. It's not a very strong smell. Now with this product, I'm going to go over some of the basic uh, specs of this. If you are working in a more humid climate, uh, this is going to be about a one or two minute flash time. If it's colder, you can work a little bit longer, maybe two or three panels at a time. But if it's a warmer, humid climate, you want to do about one panel, maybe max two panels at a time. This has slow cure time. Now, that doesn't mean that it's going to be like two, three weeks for it to cure. But when you initially apply this product, it has a slow cure time because it's going to give you optimum gloss and clarity. Sean actually has a background in like body shop and painting. And so a lot of times when you do paint for a vehicle, the slower the cure, the better the clarity. And so that's kind of what he was going for with this product. And also, when you have a slower cure, you have a more user-friendly product. You want to, at minimum, give it six hours after applying before you hit it with any sort of toppers. 14 hours before you release it to any sort of environmental elements like rain, snow, etc. But there have been some detailers that actually six hours will top it, release it to the customer, you're good to go. What we're going to do here is how it's recommended. We're going to apply it. We're going to let it sit overnight in the morning. We're going to apply our topper, and then we can release it to the customer in the afternoon. Good to go. I typically will keep most vehicles that are being coated for two days. That's just to play it safe. We do have a lot of rain in the forecast for the next couple of days. It's spring in Pennsylvania, which is basically all four seasons in one day. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put a good bit on this applicator. And we're going to go up and down, side to side, crosshatch pattern. And I can see it's immediately starting to rainbow. I'm actually going to bring you in for a closer look once I get this other half done. And I actually really like this puck. It fits nicely in your hand. So we're going to go up and down, side to side. We're going to give you a couple different looks at this product. You can see we've got some heavy rainbowing going on. Even on a red vehicle, you can see we've got our yellows, pinks, oranges going on. Here's our uncoated side versus our coated side. Now, it is about... 55 degrees in the garage, but we've had rain, so it's more humid. So we're not going to let it sit on there super long. We're probably going to go a minute or two before we remove the coating. A little longer than a few minutes later. 
So we're going to work on just this section here to begin with. The way I typically do coatings is I will use two low GSM towels and then a third plush microfiber just for a final touch. So we've been about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Because it is cooler, we're going to let it go just a little bit longer. So I'm going We're going to go ahead second towel and third towel just a very very light touch just to make sure we get all of our transfer solution to help decrease the risk of high spots. And that was easy breezy. So we'll finish coating the other half of the hood. Each time I did a about a three by two section, I applied five drops to the puck pad and a little bit goes a very long way. I didn't go through a lot of coating. This isn't one that you have to lay super thick. You can see how much of your product is being spread out so you know if you are running low on your pad. I like that. And really nice rainbowing effect. We're going to let this sit on the hood while we do the roof so that way we can kind of push limits to see how far we can go with this product. We're actually going to let it sit closer to five minutes now. While we wait for the roof to set up, we're going to go ahead and do this section together. So you see, we just put about five or six drops. You can see just how easily it is to apply. We've got that instant rainbowing. And I personally like products that rainbow like this because it's very easy to see where you have applied it and where you need to still remove. Takes all the guesswork out of it. Gonna go ahead and remove our coating from our hood now. So in the time that it took for us to apply to half of the roof, gonna come in here. Still very easy. It's not grabby whatsoever. It's a breeze. I think they should call it breezy bombshell coating. That's what I'm gonna call it. I love coatings that are like this. I mean, who really wants difficult products to apply? If it performs and it is easy, what makes it more of a professional product when it's difficult? That looks fantastic. I am really excited because I'm gonna be able to get done with this quickly and get inside and spend time with my family because that is what it's all about. Get the job done and be able to move on with your life. Protecting your vehicle couldn't be easier. Go into time lapse and work our way around the vehicle. I want to see if I have enough in that bottle for all of this porous trim. I know for sure I'll have enough for the paint, but that to me is going to be indicative of the size bottle. I know when I spoke to Sean in the past, I had a crew cab pickup truck and he said that it would probably be not enough to do an entire pickup truck if you're looking for trim, uh, wheel faces, etc. Uh, but let's see how much we can get around the vehicle with this one bottle.
so I just got done applying to the first two panels on the side and there's a remarkable difference in slickness going from this panel here that we've coated to here. But what's intriguing is that Sean actually said that it gets slicker by around the fifth or sixth day, fully slick, fully cured, seven to ten days, and it's not going to be as slick, especially right after applying, but that's actually pretty slick. So if it's only going to get more slick, I'm, I'm uh, anxious to see what it feels like in the morning after we've let that cure because you can definitely feel the difference on the panel of where you've coated versus not coated. For those of you that have used Underdog Pro in the past, I would say that this is very similar to how light is uh, with the rainbowing, but if we've got that four, possibly even five year durability range, that's going to exceed even the light version of Underdog. I did like Underdog Light because of that rainbowing effect and it was very easy on, easy off. This feels like as easy as Underdog Pro but we've got an SIO2 coating versus a PTFE uh, makeup. And so that is attractive to me. And the price point is right on par size and dollar amount of what you would get with something like that. Uh, and I'm excited to see what Sean has as far as for the pro installer only with this coating. So I know I've been overwhelming you guys with a lot of coating reviews, coating application videos, and that's not my intent to confuse you guys or make it so hard that you can't find a product that you want to use. And honestly, the detailing industry, it's a multi-billion dollar industry and it can be extremely overwhelming trying to figure out what is the best product to use and to apply. So who would I recommend this for? Well, someone obviously who's looking for single layer, multi-year product, really affordable price point. We've got really nice gloss and shine and slickness so far. I'm excited to do more tests on this product, but one thing that I can appreciate, a lot of these newer brands or newer companies that are popping up that may have a multi-year claim, I notice within a lot of the detailing groups I'm in online that you see these detailers who maybe they've gravitated towards a certain brand. Around that one-year mark, they're going to start kind of crossing their fingers and holding their breath and saying, has anyone had any sort of failure updates, any sort of issues with the coating? Because you don't really know if the product is going to live up to its claims, especially when it's newer. So I can appreciate that this has been a coating that has been used six, seven years. Uh, he's been testing it for all these years with his own customers and is able to validate those results. So that actually is reassuring and comforting for someone like me who you want to make sure you put your, your company and your reputation behind a product that's going to live up to those claims. And so Hopefully this can give you guys a sneak peek at this company. I have a feeling you're going to be hearing some big things from Bombshell uh, from Atomic Supply within the next couple of months. So keep your ears to the ground. Keep your eyes open. Stay tuned for uh, some of those updates that you may see from Sean from his company. And if I get any sort of information, obviously I will share it on my channel for those of you that might be interested as well. So I will put whatever information I have from Sean down below in the video description box. But stay tuned. I think this is going to be a coating that a lot of you, especially people like me who are small time shop uh, that are looking for something really easy to apply, durable, that your customers are going to be happy with. I think this is going to be an option for many of you to consider. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. What questions do you have? Maybe Sean can chime in, give some insight if maybe I wasn't able to cover everything, but hopefully I was able to at least answer uh, some of the, the broader questions and, and information. But we're going to finish this up, and I'll show you guys the finished Hopefully result. we're going to be able to do an update video. The customer is going to be bringing this vehicle back about every six months for an, a maintenance refresh. So stay tuned because we're going to be able to do some updates, real-world updates on this coating as we see this vehicle. So, all right, guys, we're going to keep moving. So I don't know about you, but I am personally very interested in this coating for my business here. In fact, in speaking with Sean, he was gracious enough to provide a coupon code for those of you that maybe want to try out the two-year coating, which would be a great two to three-year option for customers or for yourself. You can use coupon code CHELSEA15. I'll put the link for it down below if you want to try out his two-year coating and some of his other products that he carries. And then the four-year coating, like I said, it's going to be pre-order available starting next week. And there will be also incentives with the installer only. You can get mirror hangers, sales brochures, curriculum to provide your customers so that they can properly maintain this coding and get best results possible. So very, very impressed, very curious to see what more comes from this company and from this coding. But so far, I am loving what I'm seeing. 
What about you guys? All right, we are all done, and I did go around all of the trim and just did a quick level, and you can see how much of the product we have left. So that was a good bit of product that we were able to go through. A little did go a very long way for a midsize SUV with a lot of porous trim. So glass looks really nice. Slickness is nice. It's not the slickest, but it's not the grabbiest either. It's kind of like right in that mid-sweet spot that you like to be. And then we're going to top it tomorrow morning after she cures overnight. So although there's rain in the forecast for tomorrow, we're going to pull it out and do a quick walk around. For those of you that want to see the level of gloss and shine that this coating can provide, I'm very excited to see what it looks like when the customer comes back for a six-month checkup. But for now, we're going to call it a night. Easy day. Fantastic end result. We'll see you in the morning. So we are the morning after, and of course, it has to be raining. I knew this was actually in the forecast for today. So we're not going to pull the vehicle out to show you true water effects, just because I want to give it as much time as possible. The customer isn't picking it up until 6 o'clock tonight. So why get it wet if I don't have to? I will show you a portion of the water beating, but you can see if I were to pull it out, I'd have to pretty much just dry the entire vehicle off. But my Ethos graphene coating is holding up really well on my Subaru. For those of you that are always asking, how is my coating holding up? But that's not what this video is about. This is about the Honda CRV that we coated with the bombshell coatings for your coating. Now, Fresh after, Sean did say that this coating can feel a little grabby, and I can say it is a little grabby to the touch. It's not to the point where, like, my hand is sticking, but it's not extremely slick. It will get more slick as the coating sits on the panel the next 7 to 10 days. Probably around that 5-day window is where you're going to start to notice a lot more slickness. But we are actually going to top it before the customer picks it up, and that's really where we're going to get a lot of our slickness. Now, a lot of you will say, why do you put a topper on top of a ceramic coating? Really, what's performing? Is it the topper or the ceramic coat? It's kind of like the chicken or the egg argument. But in my mind, this is how I kind of understand it. When you put a ceramic coating on a vehicle, it becomes a sacrificial layer on top of your clear coat to kind of take the brunt of all the contaminants and environmental issues that your clear coat gets hit with. But when you have a fresh ceramic coating and it is curing, it can be extremely sensitive to some of the elements that your vehicle is exposed to. Water spots, number one. And so when you put a topper on top of a ceramic coating, that kind of becomes the sacrificial layer on top of the ceramic coating. It's kind of like putting knee pads on a kid that's going to ride a bike. You know they're going to fall. You know they're going to get kind of brushed up. And so you're just kind of putting that little bit of extra cushion on there just to make sure that they get the best foot forward moving forward. And so that's where we're going to put a topper on this coating before we release it to the customer. If we were to not top it, we're still at that 10 to 14 hours before we want to release it to the customer. But if you top this coating four to six hours after, you can release it to the elements. It should be good to go, but definitely top it if you're going to be releasing it within that six hour window. There have been some detailers that have actually pushed it two to three hours. I wouldn't necessarily do that, especially on a really wet day like this. And we've had some road salt and snow from the winter time. So I'm happy to see that the gloss looks fantastic on this vehicle. Let's see what the hydrophobics look like if we were to hit it with some, uh, some water. We're going to do the paint and the trim. Now this is a beading product, intense beading. And that looks really good. And I don't even have to dry it off. The beauty of forced air and a ceramic coating. So Sean does have products on his site that he recommends to maintain this coating with. I do not have those in shop right now. So we're actually going to use what I normally sell to customers here in shop to maintain their coatings with. This is actually a SIO2 ceramic detailer. This is a standalone product that you can use four to six months. 
if you apply it on a dry panel, but you can actually use this as a drying aid as well. Wash the vehicle. Uh, you can put one or two sprays, dry the vehicle. It's going to add extra lubrication and increase slickness and gloss and replenish the hydrophobics. My customers have been really enjoying it. But as a topper, you can just come in here. We've got our plush microfiber. We're just going to gently massage this in. What I like about it is that it doesn't streak. It's very, very forgiving. Flip to our dry side. Gentle touch. Wipe it off. Boom, you're done. You've got a ceramic coating that's SIO2 friendly. We've got our topper, and now we've protected our coating. So that way when we release it out into the elements today, we don't have any issues moving forward. So I'm very... Uh, interested in seeing more from this coating. We will be doing durability tests. I have a test panel that as soon as I have a day off, we've got probably four or five details a week in the shop the next couple of weeks. I'm actually going to be probably hiring some part-time help to try to get through it all. But as soon as we have a free moment, I have a test hood outside that we're going to be applying all these coatings that we've been applying uh, recently, as well as some other ones that have been sent to me. And we're going to be doing some real world durability tests of them. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell off to the side. For those of you that maybe you want to wait and see what kind of durability claims with all these coating reviews that I've been doing lately, I think this is one that is going to rise to the top just because of the fact that Sean has been using this for so many years and can validate the results with this. And a lot of times, that's one thing you kind of guess about, and you go into these durability tests, and they end up failing pretty quickly. So I'm really anxious to see how this Cody can hold up to uh, some of the other ones that I've been trying out lately. So make sure you guys stay tuned for those videos. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And for all of your support, the last couple of years, we are so close to 15,000. If you haven't entered for our 15,000 subscriber giveaway with the McKees 37 lineup, make sure you do that. The video is down below, so make sure you guys enter for a chance to win that. But we'll see you guys in the next detail very soon. Have a great day. Stay warm. Stay safe.